going on guys i saw this article and it's in i mean it's in the new york post so obviously it's going to get a lot of traction and it's titled eating pasta could save your life and this is confusing me because i would have sworn that i saw an article like this a couple months ago and it just seems like some sort yeah look october 19th 2017 pasta could help save your life says new study and it, it just seems like what my I mean, people use the term fake news, and I I don't really I don't dwell in politics too much, or I don't dwell in politics at all. But it seems like there is definitely some sort of pushback from a lot of news publications and people in general in the media against low carbohydrate diets because people are seeing success on them and business is suffering greatly. I cannot imagine how much like. I'm surprised like sugar stocks, all of this stuff like corn, like I'm surprised nothing has crashed yet. And I think there's going to be something in the future, although I am never going to play uh, play the gambling game on the stock market with options or calls. But I, I definitely think we're going to see the impact of like this fear of carbohydrates kind of like rear its head in a big way in the near future. I don't I think every, it's trying to be suppressed right now and that sales of a lot of these carbohydrates, these refined foods and everything is suffering. Uh, that's my guess at what's going to happen soon and why we're seeing these articles. But let's actually go over this. And what this pretty much went over is that it said that they found people who ate fewer carbs had a 20% higher risk of premature death and that they suggest an optimum level of 50 to 55% of calories from carbohydrates. So in the context of indigenous diets, about... 30 to 40 percent of their calories were from wild plant foods and carbohydrates. Uh, if you're going to say that your diet can be about literally 50 percent carbohydrates, then I would say the other 50 percent has to be solely the highest vitamin animal foods you can eat, like wild caught fish, organ meats, roe, just very, very high vitamin animal foods to make up for the lack of nutrition in these grains. And, and you know, the paper value and the anti nutrients in all of these grains and and certain things is is very apparent. And if we're just talking about like sweet potato, potato, starchy vegetables, that's that's a much different discussion than saying you should eat pasta or bread. And what's also much different than saying you should eat pasta or bread is saying that you should eat heirloom grains like spelt, emmer wheat, einkorn wheat, organic rye, very high quality naturally fermentation uh preparation on a lot of these foods is is a healthy food you know naturally fermented sourdough bread is not necessarily something that's super harmful unless you have some sort of intolerance to it so what these people are saying though is that like consuming pasta or bread made from hybridized wheat is is better for you it's that is very far from the truth that is a very inflammatory food and even and way worse than any of the other foods i previously mentioned so this article says, low-carb diets tend to result in a lower intake of healthy fruit, vegetables, and grains, and more meat. This can lead to a loss of nutrients, harmful inflammation, and biological aging. Well, these diets that are low in healthy fruits, vegetables, and grains, the reason people can't eat those foods is because they can't afford them, not necessarily because they don't want to eat them. It, it, fruits, vegetables are much more expensive per calorie, drastically more expensive per calorie than meat is, especially with how, you know, all, all these conventional agriculture has made certain meat so cheap, such as pork and chicken and even lesser cuts of beef. Uh, the Atkins diet has proved popular with fat dieters because it can lead to rapid weight loss. It says meals should include full fat dairy, eggs, and meat. But those who replaced carbs with protein and fat from animal sources fared worse in the study. But those people were still consuming fairly high carbohydrate diets. That's what they fail to mention here. Anyone, people say that they're using a study to say that diets that have pretty much no carbohydrates in them like very minimal less than 20 uh, is the same thing as someone who has a, like a 20 to 40 percent caloric consumption from carbohydrates which is very far from the truth because those people are still consuming all these inflammatory foods and having carbohydrates it's not a it's not a fair comparison while low carb diets have been touted to be great for weight loss Harley street nutritionist sound, sounds like a very reputable source rian and lambert told the sun that plans like atkins's help fuel the myth that carbs make you fat. Refined foods like white pasta, bread, and pastries lack much fiber and other nutrients common to wholesome carbohydrates and provide quick release energy that can leave us feeling deflated quickly. Cutting all carbs out can leave you feeling tired and moody. 
I think most people actually find the opposite. When you cut out carbs and you, you're on a ketogenic diet, you have constant, consistent energy levels. And that's because our brains rely on the glucose found in carbohydrates as fuel. Well, they fail to mention that you can form glucose from ketones, and there are metabolic processes that allow the body to make glucose from fat, but of course, they're not going to mention that. Just because carbs are not essential for survival, that doesn't mean they aren't beneficial. Many carb-containing foods are healthy and nutritious, such as fruits and vegetables. Well, I'm not getting into the paper value versus actual bioavailability debate in this video of how animal foods have more vitamins than plant foods in all forms and more bioavailable amounts. Uh, I'm not, I have a couple videos touching on that uh, to some degree. These foods have all sorts of beneficial compounds and provide a variety of healthy benefits. Although it's possible to survive on a zero-carb diet, it is definitely a bad idea and not an optimal choice because you're missing out on foods that science has shown to be beneficial. Okay, I guess I do have to go into the, the, the detail. So when I hate when people say things and they don't go into detail because if you don't go into detail, then you, you, you don't have any credibility because if I can say, okay, plant foods have beta-carotene, but animal foods have vitamin A in the form of retinol. Plant foods have vitamin K1, but... Animal foods have vitamin K2 in the form of MK4 that's much more available to the body. We, we could talk about the, D, the D3, vitamin D3 is only found in certain animal foods, but that can also be obtained from the sun. We could talk about how there's both vitamin C and E in various animal tissues, especially organ meats. And we could also talk about how the only real source of omega-3 fatty acids is high-quality animal foods. So at, at what point are you know these people are just going at face value and hoping people don't have any understanding of nutrition? The scientists who have published this latest study people say people who insist on a low-carb diet should opt for veggies and nuts instead. Our data suggests that low, uh, animal-based low-carb diets, which are prevalent in North America and Europe, might be associated with shorter lifespan and should be discouraged. So, so this, diet, this, this article is very subjective and very misleading. It is focusing on the idea that consuming meat is bad for you and that there are so many benefits to eating fruits and vegetables without going into any sort of detail and citing one study that is vastly inaccurate because that study still included people that consumed fairly large amounts of carbohydrates. So uh, I think that's it, guys. Why don't we move on to a fun critique like why Victoria's Secret idea of sexy may be killing its brand. So all right, I don't seem that seems like a funner topic to do, to be honest. But anyway, some um, even this one gruesome reason Dad allegedly, st oh, that's not a good one. Ben Affleck out with Playboy model after a rumor. This is like, you know, it's funny. You're reading this. You're reading this article. I'm glad I, I, I noticed that. You're reading this stupid article, Eating Pasta Could Save Your Life, next to this garbage over here. So that, that's my two cents, guys. Uh, I think that, as I said earlier, there's going to be a big pushback from a lot of people. Uh, Social, a lot of media and a lot of these BS articles. So I would try to be against them as much as possible because it's clearly there's no, you know, there are people that can make compelling arguments for eating a whole foods plant based diet, but this is not one of them.